Got all this shit done finally. Four and a half hours. All this shit. I did all of that. I did. Now I gotta find this motherfucking guard thing. Like a hillbilly, don't you? That that bar that 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 I want to get a up closer person. Like when you do like those me- uh, those National Geographic things. Let's get there a little closer. We'll see. But a panda and a black bear made it. It looks like it's no fur. What? You say? Seven thousand volts. I ain't gonna never get shot. I wonder what's over there. Oh, great, a condom. Leave that behind. Me? Did I leave it behind? Yeah. Well, you know you didn't leave it behind. <laughs> what is that guard at? Did you see that thing? I bet you this spent ain't electric. And it, it's not. Huh? No, that other side is electric. Probably that side. Huh? Only in Houston, Texas, does the electric tanks have to be in beef means too on top of Spanish. Why? Because Houston has big, big, biggest beef means populace in the United States. Hmm. Houston does? Yeah, why do you think it's in Vietnamese right there? I don't know. Cause maybe they they want their people to know. What? I lost the guard to that thing. I didn't see it nowhere. But this is some bullshit. CD Mine One. The fuck man. And my hundred dollar polo sweats. And this fifty dollar sweatshirt is ruined. I got these sticker bug things all over me. The bullshit here. Some crackheads came. They stole our electricity, all the copper from the building. So, so we really can't work here, I guess. But. It's not that hot. Somehow, somebody has electricity. <laughs> it's a laptop. I know. It is a laptop. It's a really old one, but it's a laptop. Still works without electricity. Uh, oh, we. This is some bullshit. We gotta do all this bullshit. I don't even wanna go no further back there. This look like where people die. This used to be a Denny's or some shit. Or some Takarira to carry out. I got this in New Mexico. What right? you say? I got this in New Mexico, right? What, this laptop? Yeah, I'm crazy. In New Mexico or Mexico? New Mexico. Don't go to Mexico. If you go to Mexico, the Mother Pro will not let you back in. Why? Because you have to have a password. A password? Yeah. A passport, you mean? Yeah. If you don't, you can't come back to the United States. Who says I ain't got a passport? Huh? Who says I don't have a passport? I thought I took that from you. Huh? I thought I got taken from you. My passport? Why would they get taken from me? Because you went to prison. I didn't go to prison. I thought you went to prison. No. Who told you I went to prison? Weren't you in jail for a while? Prison and jail and being locked up, incarcerated. 
can mean a number of things. Well, and see, I was smart, and I took something called Safe Peak, which is a, it stands for Safe Prison. It's basically a rehab center. If you commit a crime and you tell them that you have a drug addiction, they'll send you to that instead of prison. But you still serve the same amount of time. But you don't have to go to a prison prison. But you have the same rules, the same regulations, except you go to a class every day for four hours that teaches you how to abstain from drugs. But a lot of people go to that instead of going to prison because it's supposed to be easier. I only did nine months there. I did four months in the, um, in the county. And then I did three months in a halfway house. So that was equal to like almost a year and a half. How about your other two felonies? My other two felonies I didn't serve no time for. Because I had a good lawyer. See, in addition to... Good lawyer, but you still got to tell me. I didn't have to serve any time, though. So, I don't care about felony conviction. I don't care about felony conviction. Look at that New Mexican engineering right there. What? New Mexican engineering. A paper clip. Yes. Look at this guy, y'all. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Go ahead, pack up. We need to go. I don't have anything to pack up. What stuff out there? Walmart. Yeah, I put it up there already because you didn't do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep telling you to pack up. Well, I mean, it's all dark though. Oh. Sorry, door. I'm about to. God, please don't let me kick this stupid, retarded, fat ass's ass. Because I can see me punching him in the face. His mouth is too slick. And he's too fucking lazy. And he likes to give orders. And he don't even know me like that. Every time he sees somebody gay and black, he thinks about me. But please, God. Don't let me beat the snot out of him. Because he doesn't know. Inbreeding. Inbreeding, inbreeding. Let him make it, Boomy. Let him make it. Oh, my God. Then they leave me here with him. Mike, I get it. This is a nice joke. But uh, it's not funny anymore. It's not. But uh, shout out to uh, my baby Troy. You're going through a lot of bumpy shit, but I love you, man. I really do. And uh, I need you so much right now. Well, I'm dirty and I'm sweaty and I'm sore. And I gotta go do some more work. And I gotta ride with this stinking ass. He smells like, uh, a guy. This is what a fucking panda and Peter Griffin's love child would look like. He can barely even speak English. Strange enough, that's the only language he knows. But he smells like a real horse. Take me now. Shut up! <laughs> I'm not wasting no battery. This is for my web channel, dumbass. This is for my YouTube channel. I have to let them see what I'm going through so they can believe me. I have a whole TV show like on YouTube. How many subscribers you got? I got about 6,000. And how many views? I don't know. Go look it up and you could be one of my viewers and subscribers. Like and subscribe to your channel. Is that correct? Huh? Like and subscribe, right? Like and subscribe. Yep. You'll see yourself on there. You're famous already. <laughs> you know, I'm famous. And he's if, I can, if I can't get famous for shooting her people in the fucking bag. on fucking camera and call the police on myself, I don't think I'm going to get no famous. Who'd you shoot in the... I saw four shoplifters two years ago. That's how I got this job. You shot four shoplifters? In the bag at the same time, on camera. You oh. shot four at one time with one bullet? No, I had a shotgun. Oh. Yeah. And why they didn't do anything to you? Because uh, I had very, 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 very bad time. Oh. Because the week before I had shoplifters get my fucking head open. 14 stitches. In my head. What did he hit you with? We don't know. You never found what he hit you with. But uh, anyway, 14 stitches. And next week, we got four people coming up in there.
Yeah. Inside of a store? Inside the store? Yeah, it was we uh, one spring. It was spring. Oh. It was perfect. The arms full of stuff. It's long down. Yeah, I'll do it about day. Well, strange enough, nobody ever thought they could rob me. I was waiting for them. Because even though I'm not supposed to have certain things, you know, I keep something tucked beneath my waist that'll make sure that I'm going to be okay. And I'll be waiting for somebody to come rob me. And even if they don't have a gun or anything, they can try to put a baseball bat. I like all that shit. No, 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 you're not allowed to have bats. You have to. I have a golf club, but not bad. Oh no, I have I don't have a bat. I have a brass knuckles and I have a taser and I have uh, a BB gun. Oh, BB gun. Oh. Oh. Okay, the taser is legal. I want brass knuckles. Brass knuckles because I like the feel of them. I like to hit people with brass knuckles because they're always so shocked with their first hit. That's a felony to get caught with that. I don't care. I won't get caught with it. I haven't get caught with it. I've carried brass knuckles for years, and I've never been caught with them because they're easily dispensed. Okay. You know, I saw Jamie. Dispose of. I saw Jamie finally caught his knuckle up in Dallas. He got caught with brass knuckles. Yeah, I got a close gun on people no more. I ain't worried about that. If I was worried about that, I'd be worried about it. Fellas. <laughs> Shit. I'm just annoyed because. I can have a gun, but I'm not allowed to have a gun. Well, the shit that we're doing right now, some of the work that we're doing is illegal, but we still do it, so... You gotta do no, what no, you gotta no. do. No, it's legal for me to have a gun right now. It's legal, but if I get caught with a gun, I'm fired. Who said that? Don Cole. Well, because I don't think he would want somebody, you know, like as yourself, carrying around a weapon. It's probably not safe for everybody else. Probably not. I wouldn't want you to have a gun around me. Why? Because you just don't seem like you would have the best judgment with the gun. It's just what I observed. You know? Let's see. I used to carry a gun all the time. I carry a gun. I don't want to carry a gun. In Missouri, Nebraska, Kansas, uh, Colorado. And you've shot four people already. I've never shot not one person. But I did illegal. Alright, what's up? I'm on my way to East Coast. 